Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Esculenta Science. Today we are going to talk about the Otrio test. First, let's see what is the Otrio test. The Diotrio test is statistically less efficient than the triangle test because the chance of obtaining a correct result by guessing is 1 in 2. On the other hand, the test is simple and easily understood. Compared with the paired comparison test, it has the advantage that a reference sample is presented that avoids confusion with respect to what constitute a difference but disadvantage is that three samples rather than two must be tested. This method is used when the test objective is to determine whether a sensory difference exists between two samples. So where we can use the dryer test? To determine whether product differences results from a change in ingredients, processing, packaging or storage. And to determine whether an overall difference exists where no specific attributes can be identified as having been affected. So when we do the Otrio test, you should present to each subject an identified reference sample followed by two coded samples, one of which matches the reference sample. Then all subject to indicate which coded sample matches the reference. Then count the number of correct replies and refer to table for interpretation. As a general rule, the minimum is 16 subjects, but for less than 28, the beta error is high. Discrimination is much improved if 32, 40 or large number of a subject can be employed. Also, offer sample simultaneously if possible or else sequentially. Prepare equal numbers of possible combinations. Allocate the sets at random among the subjects. And do not ask supplementary question. Example, the degree or type of difference or the subject's preference as the subject's choice of matching samples may bias his response to these additional questions. Here you can see the balance sheet of the Otrio test. There is reference sample and two coded samples and you should give instruction to the panelist. So for the results analysis, you should count the number of correct responses and the number of total responses. Then determine if the number of correct for the number of testers is equal or larger than the number of indicated in the table. And do not count no different replies as valid responses and instruct subjects to guess if the odd sample is not detectable. So let's clarify the Otrio test through example. So let's see what is the question. Question is a test packing material B is manufactured by using a new lot of aluminium foils and the sensory analyst wishes to know if it can be distinguished from control packing material A taken from current production. The alpha value is 5% and number of panelists is 16 trained accessors. So, for the sample preparation, 24 snacks which are packed in A and 24 snacks which are packed in B are prepared to make 16 sets that are distributed at random among the subjects. Then let's see how to write the hypothesis. H0 is 
there is no significant difference between packaging A and packaging B. Then the H1 is, there is a significant difference between packaging A and packaging B. So when interpret the results, if table value is equal to the number of correct responses, H0 is rejected. If table value is higher than the number of correct responses, H0 is rejected. And if the table value is lower than the number of correct responses, H0 is accepted. So let's see. Here you can see the corresponding table for the DO trial test. You can find the alpha value in the first row and the number of panelists in the first column. The 12 is the table value corresponding to the alpha value and 16 panelists. So let's assume 14 subjects correctly identify the odd sample. Then the number of total panelists is 16, correct responses is 14, and the table reading is 12. So the interpretation is table reading is lower to the correct responses, the null hypothesis is accepted. Therefore, there is no any significant difference between A and B at this 5% level of significance. So this is the DO trial test you can use for your sensory evaluation test. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.